All right, so this is our very first intro video into elementary statistics, where we're going to be talking about the purpose and the foundation of our course. So in statistics, we generally want to study a population, a population meaning every single being within the interest that you're wanting to study, if you will. It is all of the collection of persons, things, or objects that you're wanting to talk about. However, it's very difficult if you wanted to study an entire population most of the time. If you want to know the average weight of a fish in a lake, it would be really hard to collect all the fish in the lake to then talk about the average weight. So instead, we select a sample. Now, sampling methods are not a skill or a topic that we are going to talk about in our course. However, what you need to understand is that what we will do is we'll collect a subset. We'll do this at random to decrease some bias. Um, and we'll study that portion to then project back to the population. So let's draw maybe a little bit of a picture here. So let's say that this is our population. You'll use random sampling methods to collect samples from that population. That sample is then a subset. And then we'll use that sample to then make generalizations about the population. One thing that you need to know is describing the sample. We call that descriptive statistics. And then that generalization process we call inferential statistics. The first half of our course is going to be just looking at sample data and how to describe it. The second half of the course is going to be, okay, now how do we generalize that to the population? The other key pieces of information you need to know to set us up really well is a variable um, is a characteristic or measurement that can be determined for each measure of the population. It might be numerical or categorical. Numerical values are like weights or time, and you can find an average of them. Categorical variables are a characteristic about the population, like hair color, um, favorite course, those types of things. There is some examples here from the text, if you would like to read further and kind of pause the video. What I like to think about is if I could find the actual numerical average of the data that I am collecting, then that variable is numerical. If I can put it into like buckets, then that is going to be a categorical variable. And the data is the actual values, okay? That might be numbers, it might be words, um, and we would call a datum a single variable, just, just so you have that vocabulary there. All right, let's look at an example here. This is something that would be of interest to a college or university for sure. Um, and so you can start putting on your hat as a statistician as to what we would need to look at here. So there was a study conducted by a local college to analyze the average cumulative GPA of students who graduated last year. Let's see if we can use the, um, vo the vocab that we just learned to understand each piece here. Now, A says all students who attended the college last year. I want us to be very careful because in the description here, it said students who graduated. So I'm going to kind of put a pin in that A and just make sure that I appropriately assign that um, here in just a minute. All right, B is the cumulative GPA of one student who graduated from college last year. Then C is actual data values. D, a group of students who graduated from college last year randomly selected. E, the average 
cumulative GPA of students who graduated from college last year. F, all students who graduated from college last year. Notice the difference between A and F. So what if I'm looking for the population, which is that first one, I'm actually going to think that I don't want just all students who attended, I want all students who graduated. That's going to be my population. All right, and then G says the average cumulative GPA of students in the study who graduated from college last year. So if that's my population is all students who graduated, I'm then going to choose from that population a group of students who graduated from college randomly selected. The parameter of interest is I want to look at the average cumulative GPA of all students who graduated from college last year. So that would be E. However, I'm going to use this sample that I collected in order to maybe make a generalization about that population. So G, the average cumulative GPA of students in the study who graduated from college last year. I am interested in collecting the cumulative GPA and the actual data that I would collect would be those GPA values.